friends! Today I'm going to be reading to you a new story and the story is titled The Napping House. Before I begin reading, let me show you the parts of the book. This part is the front cover. Here is the back cover. This side right here is our spine. These words along the top are the title. And again, the title says The Napping House. And the author is Audrey. Audrey is the author, so that means Audrey wrote the words. And then it's illustrated by Dawn. Dawn is the illustrator, so that means Dawn was in charge of the pictures. Excellent. Let's open up the book. And then here is the title page. There's our title again, and now we are on a page. Let's begin. There is a house, a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. And in that house, there is a bed, a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that bed, there is a granny, a snoring granny on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that granny, there is a child, a dreaming child on a snoring granny on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that child, there is a dog, a dozing dog on a dreaming child on a snoring granny on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that dog, there is a cat, a snoozing cat on a dozing dog on a dreaming child on a snoring granny on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that cat there is a mouse, a slumbering mouse on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that mouse, there is a flea. <gasps> Could it be a wakeful flea? On a slumbering mouse, on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. A wakeful flea bites the mouse. Who scares the cat? Who claws the dog? Who thumps the child? Who bumps the granny? Who breaks the bed? In a napping house where no one now is sleeping. The end.